This is Archdeacon Janet Griffith at St. Mark's Church in Brantford, Ontario. Thank you for joining me for Christmas Eve prayers. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to all on whom he, his favor rests. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, the grace of God has appeared, bringing light to us all with confidence and joy. Let us confess our sin. Great and glorious God, through Jesus Christ, our Savior, you have shown us that the blessed age of grace has appeared and the hoped for time of salvation has come. Yet we cling to the glories of the present age, worldly passions and impious pursuits, self-indulgent, crooked and ungodly ways. We chose to walk in darkness, unwilling to see the evil your light exposes. Cleanse us and free us. Break the yoke we choose to carry through Christ, who gave himself for us, so that we might be your people, holy and whole. Amen. Hear the good news of great joy. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Let us pray. Living God, on this holy night we gather to stand with shepherds amazed at your glory, to sing with angels rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary cradling your love. May the good news of this night inspire us to tell the world of your great joy, our great joy, to tell the world that a Savior has been born, the Messiah, the Lord. Glory and praise to you forever. Amen. Loving God, by the gift of your Spirit, teach us, like Mary, to treasure your words and ponder them in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh. Amen. Welcome to this 
holy service on Christmas Eve. A reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased in joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The seal of the Lord of the hosts will do this. And a reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in the Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And now as our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus Christ is born. 
Hallelujah.